With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, we have a question based on moving charges and magnetism. Question is, a moving coil galvanometer allows full scale current of 10 to the power minus 4 ampere, a series resistance of 10 mega ohm that is ohm is required to convert the above galvanometer into voltmeter of range 0 to 5 volt. Therefore, the value of shunt resistance required to convert the galvanometer into ammeter of range 0 to 10 milliampere. So, we need to find out the value of shunt. So, we will analyze the situation from the diagram that we have a galvanometer and a current, the maximum current to which it can sustain that is 10 to the power minus 4 ampere and a resistance is connected to it which is 2 mega ohm. Now, this is the situation we have. And in this situation, the range of the voltage is 0 to 5 volt. So, we have say 5 volt the voltage. So, in this situation, you can see that the total voltage is 5 volt according to conservation of energy. We have an equation 5 volt is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 ampere into galvanometer resistance plus 10 to the power minus 4 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 6 ohm resistance. So, this is what we have a potential equation, potential difference equation. So, we can see that this is 5 which is equal to minus 4 G in this we have 200. Now we we are getting minus 195 into 10 to the power 4 the value of G. So this is not possible to have the value of G because resistance, inductor, capacitor are all the characteristics of of electrical components property. So, it cannot be in a negative value. So, accordingly, this is the wrong question. But we need to know the concept. If we get some value of G positive, then after that, what we will do? We will see that this is the galvanometer we have, and it can maximum sustain the current of this much value. And we need to make this galvanometer an emitter. So, we need to connect a parallel resistance that is a shunt resistance and the range of the emitter is 0 to 10 milliampere. So, 10 milliampere we will supply here. This is the maximum current for galvanometer and the current for the shunt will be 10 milli ampere minus 10 to the power minus 4 ampere. So, in this situation, we have the general equation that is 10 to the power minus 4 ammeter current into G is equal to the value of current going through passing through the shunt and the resistance of the shunt. So, this is the equation by which we can easily find out the value of shunt if the value of galvanometer is obtained. So, this question is a wrong question due to its value.
and these are the two basic equation by which we can find out the value of shunt as per the question asked thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today